Good morning, my loves, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Maria Comas, and I welcome you all to Merry Living. So, guys, if this is your first time bumping into my not so tired face, <laughs> please do not make it your last, okay? Consider subscribing. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for the support, for the love, for always, you know, um, coming back okay thank you so much and the first time as thank you so much for you know coming here by chance by choice however we um that brought you here okay yeah so um guys first of all you can see that something is off with me i'm sure you must have seen the title by now and um, my voice is not voicing <laughs> yeah that's because i have been battling psoriasis per se but that's not it okay so i started battling this rash or whatever it is and you know next thing i was hit by malaria so the whole voice thingy that's me having flu and you know from the malaria of course so yeah let me tell you everything about how it began how i noticed it how you know the changes started coming just see with me grab your popcorn <laughs> yeah now if you saw my previous video about me going to the spa you see how smooth my skin was it was so smooth like i didn't have an issue bear in mind that was the day after valentine's right and i was just you know feeling myself now there is one thing life will do to you life will humble you you know, I will show you people, oh, look at my skin, oh, look at how my body is given, you know, after this spa thing. If you've not seen that video, that's the video, the vlog before this one, okay? Yeah, that is, this is just one vlog away, right? And on the 15th, I was okay. I was, there was no issue. I just saw a big patch on my lap, my inner thigh, actually. I saw a big patch on my inner thigh that has the look of like ringworm. I was really worried. I didn't know what to do, right? So my husband recommended that I use a particular cream that he uses for, you know, when you have rash or stuff like that, skin irritations, Padre Claire, by the way, yeah. So I've seen him use it and, you know, it works wonders. So I decided to use it for that, you know, patch that I had on my inner thigh and two days it cleared out i was like wow okay this is good you know and then i started seeing this same patch on my back you know just coming out gradually gradually and then i started using the cream again so when that cream finished i started using from back a like i was desperate at this point i didn't know what was happening to me i don't know if it was the weather because weather in abuja is actually very hot I was thinking okay maybe it could be the weather it could be any you know it could just be me reacting to something at the point i actually started thinking are you sure it's not the massage oil that i used you know for this part thingy because that's the only different thing that i've used then again i thought to myself okay i got a um i'll show you i'll put that somewhere here i got a cream set okay for valentine's and i used it once so i'm wondering could it be that do you understand so at this point i was trying to look out for possible causes to you know whatever it is that has been the issue but i could not find anything so i was just really worried then again i met my dry cleaner and asked him how he you know how does he wash my towels does he mix it with people's towels like you know i was just asking a lot of things now nothing was coming to mind right then um i woke up one morning and this thing has grown all over my body guys you can see my hand i think it's going now as at the time i'm making this video my body is this is better <laughs> if i'm telling you that this is better just imagine how it was right from this part that you cannot see down to my legs the same thing my back the only thing is it didn't get to my face right 
no it didn't get to my face it didn't get to my face it didn't get to my neck it's can you see can you see that you can see right so this is the state of my body now so i was scared my husband was scared and we decided you know what let's go to the hospital and see what is going on so we went to the hospital this was um i think after the presidential election we went to um the hospital i requested to see a dermatologist you know paid whatever needed to be paid then went in to see the dermatologist like at this point i was i was just getting ready for them to tell me oh this is the problem or this is not the problem and when i went in the woman smiled you know hi good morning i greeted her and she was like mm, how are you doing i said i'm fine she said okay what can i do you for i said um like i've been having this rash all over my body and i don't know what could be the problem so i'm thinking maybe some tests can be done this is my hand <laughs> some tests can be done to you know let me know what the problem is and she said did this have a mother patch before this and i was like yes because you know she went straight to the point so i was like Ooh, okay i was like yeah it had a mother patch which is the one at the one on my inner thigh the first one that left she was like and how long did this take before going i said just two days and you know that's after i applied the cream she said it's not the cream that you know made it go that that's how these things are that is called psoriasis rosé i'm going to put the name in the description or i'll put the name here that's that's what it's called that um nobody gave it to me i can't give it to anybody it's not con it's not communicable right you can't um infect another person with it nobody infected you with it that is caused by a virus which is not known yet it's not known yet and they've not been able to identify any cause they've not even been able to identify a cure <laughs> so it's something that would just come and go i'm like what, wait, hold on are you trying to say that i'm going to you know deal with this thing till it decides to leave my body she said yes that so just the only thing is don't think about it too much just go about your daily activity do not stress yourself just you know do what you would normally do right and use mild mild soups okay don't use anything that will trigger it or then if it's itchy if you feel itchy you can take um medication for each itch, itchiness whatever <sighs> guys that was my reality and I just didn't know how to go about it. So I was going to work. This thing was not paining me. It was not itching me. It was not even the only discomfort I got like in this stuff is that I would just, you know, when you stay and look at your skin and say, God, three days ago, this is not how I was. And what is going on? Like, why the sudden change? Do you understand? So I told my mom my mom was telling me use the blood of jesus you need to pray <laughs> yeah because i mean everybody was really scared for me but yeah thank god i think right now everything is drying it's even having patches you can see like it's not like it's scaling out can you see that yeah so it's drying out i think it's time for it to pack its load and go and it's also leaving dark dark this is the first time I'm having anything dark on my body. The first time. So yeah, this is where I'm at now. So while all this was going on, fast forward um, three days ago, at work, I was at work, but I was not myself. I was so stressed out, I was so frustrated. Like I was having headaches, I was having cold, I was feeling hot. A lot of things were happening to me at the same time and like, I would just stay like this. I'm, I was confused. I was in a very confused state. In my mind, I'm like, okay, probably is this thing, you know, showing me certain symptoms. I don't know. Like, I just don't know. And then I went to the hospital again and found that I have malaria. I've been really ill. The reason you could see, like, the reason you're seeing videos back to back was because I, you know, 
batch vlog okay i batch vlog and keep and that's what has been saving this channel from not you know just from not being stagnant do you understand because of the batch vlogging but besides that it has really been a hustle it has been it has been a week filled with ups and downs so this is like a month this is like a month dealing with psoriasis rosé and this is also you know two three days dealing with malaria and i must say it has not been an easy one for me at all so the reason i'm making this um video is just in case you know anybody that has this type of you know skin um rash or whatever and they are confused just tell them to chill <laughs> i've gone to the hospital on your behalf okay take a chill pill relax according to what the doctor said it's something that you know will go on its own okay do not stress yourself do not worry your pretty head over it so much and <coughs> excuse me and for the malaria yeah of course you have to go to the hospital and um go to the hospital get yourself checked and if you can afford it sleep with mosquito nets okay that is the easiest way to save your money when it comes to malaria and save yourself all the stress and the pains that comes with dealing with malaria okay yeah i think this is all i came to tell you this is just like a life update for me and it is not a happy one it is a really disorganizing one the type that's just you know it, it has been really really um complicated for me but i thank god i'm strong i am getting myself back i need really needed to um put out this blog because I noticed that with myself and malaria, once it is from 5, 6 p.m. till probably 3 a.m., I battle fever, right? I start getting cold, I start getting very sick, you know, all that. But during the day, I'm very strong. I don't know if that's peculiar to you as well, but yeah, that's how it is for me. So I try to be as productive as I can during the day that in the whole fever and everything has you know eased on my body or eased off on my body right so i try to make do with that particular time so this is me making do <laughs> with this time and just telling you that this is what i've been up to lately so just say a word of prayer for me in the comments okay and have yourselves a wonderful day do not forget to like comment share and subscribe okay subscribe guys okay share this video to as many people as you can okay so that youtube can in turn recommend my videos to people right thank you so much thank you so much i really appreciate the love i'll see you in another vlog bye